All right, so today's video we're doing kind of a continuation a little bit of last week, but I had some people ask this question. I figured I'd get into it before, and, and we're gonna get into it before we actually get into the Photos app and start playing around with the layout and the organization and the editing, et cetera, et cetera. So today, it's real simple. Hopefully this is gonna be a real super fast video. All we're gonna do is show you how to move your existing photo library, let's say to an external or get it somewhere else because primarily your photo library sits on the main drive of your Mac computer. But if it gets large like mine does, you may have a fairly small hard drive and it's taking up a lot of space if not pretty much all your space. So being able to take that photo library and move it somewhere else can be, well, be hugely beneficial. So let's, let's go over here and take a look. So this is the computer of course. Uh, I got a bunch of external hard drives here and it, it, you can use any external hard drive, really. Just make sure that it's formatted for Mac. Uh, so just go in and format it as what's called an HFS drive, primarily. Um, usually that's, that's all you need to do. So what we're gonna do here, we're not even gonna open it, but you'll see here photos. If I open it, here's my, here's my library. That's great. Now the first thing to realize is that photos is actually two components, right? One component is the physical software and the second component is the actual library. So the software and the library, they work kind of hand in hand with each other. So the software itself, so the photo software, has to reside on the primary drive. We can't move that, it has to live there. But the library, that's not the case. So I'm gonna close this again. And of course, if you and I were going to Finder under applications, this is where you and I, I'll scroll down here, this is where you and I would find photos. There it is right there. Could I move that to an external? Well, I guess in theory you could, but would it function? No, it has to be there, okay? So we're, we're leaving that alone. But if we come into our primary drive, so I'm gonna go under my user, and I have mine under pictures right here, you'll actually see my photo library. So I have two photo libraries. This is actually my, my main one. And I actually made a photo library here. I'll just change the way this looks as icons, right? Two photo libraries. I actually just made this one here so that you and I could have something to play with. So most of us are just gonna have one library, just realize that. And honestly, all we have to do is take this, this is the library and move it. We just copy it. So let's say I wanted it on this drive right here. I literally just take it and go here. Now, the one thing you can do is you'll see is if you do this, you get that plus. And the plus of course means that it is gonna copy and that is highly recommended. Because if I were to hold my command key down, you'll see the plus goes away. And now it's gonna do a move. Now the thing is, or the issue is, this is kind of moving. So it's like taking files and just kind of moving them across. And that library has to act as a whole. It's like one big file with a bunch of files in it. And during a move, let's say something went wrong, because let's say we were moving a really big file and halfway through we errored or we lost power or something happened. Well, then the file that it's moving didn't finish, so it could be corrupted. And the file that it's moving from is kind of half, half moved, which means it could be corrupted, which is no good. So whenever we're moving or taking a program from one drive to another drive, we should always do a copy not a move. So we want to make sure that that little plus icon shows up, right? So you see the little plus right there? We want that. We're going to let that go. Now this is a small library with only a couple photos in it. Here she goes. Good old 50, 55 megs. That's going to move across. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Voila. Now, before we delete the original one, don't ever delete the original without verifying that the copy functions. And all you and I are going to do is double click this. This is the new one, right? This is that one on that drive. Double click. We're going to see, does it open? Yeah, it opens. Very good. So that means it's, make sure, just go in here and check, make sure everything's there. It should be, but you want to verify. Now that it's there, we could come here and purge the original. Pop, just command delete, gone. Now, if you want to verify again, before you empty your trash can, now you could go to photos without clicking. Click, opens, nice, we're good. Because it's, it's all linked, right, all linked. Now the other thing you could do, and we kind of talked about this in the video that came out last week, is that if you hold your option key down, when you actually click on the photos, 
you actually get, I'll just bring this over here, a little screen that says choose which library, right? And by default, it'll be the one that's last open. So you could click on that and just verify, or I could click on my primary, whatever, right? Choose that one. And now you're, you're verified that it's functioning. But nice and easy. There you go, my friends. Uh, if you are running low on space, if you're running low on space on your primary drive and you wanna move these to an external, nice and easy. The other thing to realize, once you do that, that external has to be plugged in whenever you wanna use the photos library or you wanna use another program that is referencing the photos library. So for me, for instance, I mail a lot or I use Final Cut and I access the photos library, that drive would have to be plugged in all the time. Big deal? Well, it can be a little bit, but it also means that we don't run out of storage here. All right, guys, that's it. Short video today. Uh, I think next one, we're gonna actually get into photos. We're gonna start looking at how it's laid out and how you and I can uh, play with some of the organization. All right, we'll see you uh, Thursday, I hope. All right, guys, later.